What's up hunters, how's it going? Today we're diving into a piece of gear that will elevate your treasure hunting toolkit, the Adroit RSPU built by Vertex Detectors. Built on German technology, this device brings precision, reliability, and durability trusted by professionals worldwide. Now, let me get one thing straight from the get-go. This is not a standalone detector. The Adroit Remote Signal Processing Unit is a scanning and targeting extension meant to be used with professional detectors like the Quantum VX900 or the VTran VX10. And in this video, we'll be unpacking how this compact powerhouse is able to detect deep underground signals and process them with high precision before you even begin coil searching. Now, the first thing we're going to be met with when we take the Adroid out of the box is this Adroid carrying case. At the top here is where we'll have our user manual as well as our warranty, which you can find more information about if you visit our website. And in the pouch, you'll also have your high precision RMS detector as well as the directional transceiver antenna. And of course, we're going to have our remote signal processing unit, which we will get into in just a second. And we'll have our charging cable and adapter. Now, mind you, it takes about two and a half hours to fully charge the Adroid, and it gives you 10 hours of operation time. Let's go ahead and close this and put it to the side. And of course, we have our earbuds for a more isolated search hunt. Now, let's get into what the Adroid is truly made of. The first thing we're going to notice is the mixture of the polycarbonate and ABS plastic. We're talking about extremely lightweight handling. We're talking about 435 grams, which means you're gonna have absolutely no trouble carrying it around or holding it when you're on your treasure hunt. Coated with a thermoplastic rubber, which means you are looking at extreme durability in rugged environments and atmospheres. Now, if we take a closer look at the Adroid, I'm just going to take this off here. We're going to find the thermoplastic rubber buttons that are extremely easy to the touch. And as you can see, the Adroid overall has an ergonomic structure that makes it extremely easy for one-handed operation. And right at the top here is where we'll have our headphone jack for a more isolated hunt. And at the bottom is where we'll have our high definition speaker. And as you can see here, we have the charging port and here's something really cool. The battery is detachable as well as attachable. So, you know, I find that pretty cool. So without further ado, let's move into the technologies that the Adroit Remote Signal Processing Unit uses. Now, don't let the size fool you. The Adroid is built for some serious field performance. It is built with high-end components that work together to detect weak signals from far distances. All right, so let's talk about what's actually inside the Adroid because that's where all the heavy lifting happens. It is installed with a very smart chipset that helps you process both active and passive signals. And let me break down how that exactly happens. There's also the antenna, which sends signals and listens back to what comes from the ground. And it's also directional, which means that it'll help guide you towards your source. And on top of all of that, inside the Adroid is a built-in protection system that helps block out all unwanted signals, whether you're in electrostatically active environments or in heavy mineralized soils. This device helps filter out all of that noise, giving you the most accurate and reliable results. And all of that adds up into a device that doesn't only identify metal, it'll also help you identify water sources as well as tunnels and anything unusual underground. So how does the Adroid actually detect things from a distance? We're talking about 2,500 meters of detection distance. And the Adroid uses three different technologies that we're going to talk about right now. 
First off, we have the RMS technology. Now, the RMS technology splits into two modes, both the passive and the active. Starting off with the passive mode, it listens to natural electrostatic energy that forms around old buried objects. Now, it is best to use the passive mode in urban areas or electrically dense environments. So let's move on to the active mode. And what the active mode does is mostly just stimulate those fields by sending frequencies into the ground. Now, the active mode is best used in clean and quiet soil environments. Next off, we have the ADRI and the MDRI modes. Now, the ADRI mode automatically tells you how far and in which direction is that signal coming from. And the MDRI mode manually lets you adjust how this scan behaves, which is best suited for the professionals. So it's scan first, confirm second. It's a lot faster with a lot less guesswork. All right, now that all is said and done, let's take the Android out on a field test. The next time you'll be seeing me, I'll be on the field. So see you there. All right, now let's see what's inside the Adroids rugged carry case. Now, of course, you have the Adroids RSP unit which we'll put to the side as well as on the side pouch is where we will have our RMS sensor as well as the directional antenna. Now the RMS sensor goes at the bottom as we can see over here and the directional antenna goes at the top. And just like that and you are good to go. The device is lightweight with just over 400 grams and a tough build. Now that the setup's done, we are going to get scanning. The first thing we're going to do is activate the RMS mode to search for underground signals. Now we have two modes. The passive mode listens for natural electrostatic fields, which is great for noisy or mineral heavy environments, as well as the active mode which sends out a frequency that stirs up those fields. Perfect for dry, quiet soil. The sensitivity indicator reacts to nearby targets. The closer you get, the higher the reading. Adjust your movement to align with the signal, always watching how the antenna responds for real-time feedback. Either way, the antenna and the RMS sensor work together to detect whether there's something underground. And here's the thing, if there's no signal, that tells you what you need to know. There is no target. The Adroit covers distances of up to 2,500 meters and depths up to 25 meters. Now, I don't need to tell you that, but that is serious reach. The antenna shifts direction as it senses a target. Follow its lead, it guides your path with subtle motion. And remember, Avoid carrying phones, rings, or metal accessories. Hold the device steady, arm in front of your chest with the antenna always parallel to the ground. Now let's find a target using ADRI mode. Start by setting a starting point while the Adroid scans frequencies. Once the target is detected, its type appears right on the screen. While the Adroid is scanning for target types, stay still and press the handle button. The Adroid takes care of the search automatically, no movement needed during this phase. Once scanning is complete, use the arrow keys to cycle through detected targets, then confirm the one you want to follow. Now before our search, we're going to start rotating the antenna slowly. Once the Adroid detects signal strength, you'll hear a tone and feel a vibration. Now move towards the search zone. Based on your starting point, the Adroit will direct you, usually around 25 meters, to approach your target's estimated location. In the next step, the Adroit will direct you towards your target. When the antenna turns sharply, left or right, stop and mark that point. Press the handle button, then turn 180 degrees and walk again. When the antenna turns again, stop and mark. The midpoint between those two points is your target's vicinity. 
To measure the depth, move approximately 5 meters away from the marked target area and press the handle button. The depth will display automatically on the screen. To use MDRI mode, scroll through the main menu using the tab button and confirm. Start by selecting your target type, for example silver, emerald, or gold using the arrow keys. Next, use the search distance whether you're scanning nearby or reaching out the full 2500 meter range. Then, set your preferred depth depending on how deep you believe the target may be. You'll also have the option to adjust the frequency offset, fine-tuning signal precision. Once everything is set, a summary screen will display your selection. Keep your hands steady, arms centered, antenna leveled, and you're ready to begin your search. MDRI is designed for seasoned users. Walk southward aligned with Earth's magnetic field. The device emits signals over your selected range using the directional antenna. Use the two-point method. Walk towards the target until the antenna shifts sharply. Stop, mark, turn 180 degrees, and repeat. The target will lie between both points. You can also try the square method. Start walking in a straight line and mark the first spot where the antenna turns sharply. Now keep walking in a square pattern. Mark each of the four corners where the antenna reacts in the same way. You should end up with four points. Next, draw a line from point 1 to point 3 and another from point 2 to point 4. The point where the two lines intersect, that's the exact location where your target is buried. To wrap it all up, the Adroid RSPU has a detecting range of 2500 meters and a reach depth of 25 meters. It can also detect metals, underground tunnels, and water sources, making it the perfect addition to your search hunt toolkit. It's lightweight, field ready, and works with your already existing detector systems, all while offering a smarter and cost-effective way to narrow down promising zones. The Adroid RSPU gives you the power to scan smarter and dig where it counts. Paired with your VX900 or your VX10, it gives you a serious advantage on how you work on the field. Backed by trusted German engineering, this is the kind of technology you want when precision matters. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. And for more information, make sure to visit our official website. And as always, good luck out there.